Okay, so now let's allow the user to sign up anonymously. So let's log out now. So I'm recording this video after that I finished the code of the sign in anonymously. That's because I got a black screen due to security reason. So that's why I'm recording it again. So to activate the sign in anonymously, you need to go to the authentication tab, then go to the sign in methods, and you need to activate the anonymous in here. So as you can see, it is being enabled because I enabled before. And at the end of this tutorial, you will find out that I registered three times using anonymous login. Now in the landing page, so in this page, I will initialize a new method. Or we can just copy the login method, for example. I will copy it and paste that on the landing page in here. So in here, let's say, log in anonymously. We don't need this. We don't need this also. And we need the others. So let's delete this. And we also we don't need this because we didn't go to any page yet. So in here let's say auth dot sign in anonymously just like this. Now we need to initialize this loading. So at the top we can add a boolean as usual and name it as loading and initialize it to false. Now we can call this method. So let's say search for sign in as a guest. This one, let's comment this and paste this method in here. Just like this. Now I will restart it and let's give it a try. Here it is. An account has been created with this user ID and nothing will be added to the Firestore. So let's reload it and make sure. Yeah, here it is. This is actually the old email that I register with it. And let's go to this in here. And for sure, I will get an error because we are reading from an ID that it doesn't exist in the collection in here. That's not a real problem. It can be worked very well and everything is working fine in here. But it will be better if we handle it. First, in here, let's check if it is loading and show a spinner. If it is not, show this icon. So here it is. Save it. And Try to log out now, create another account. Here it is. This panel is being shown. And let's go to the authentication tab and go back to the users. And here's the users, three anonymous users. So in here, we need to handle the errors. So let's go to the user info and in here let's say user dot is anonymous. If this is the case, we don't actually need to fetch this. So in here, let's say if the user is anonymous, we, we need to do something. We can put it to null just like this. So let's restart it and give it a try. Here it is, but I got another problem. Okay, so in here we are getting the info. It made an error on the get name. So we can cut this and check if the user and we can check if the user doc equal to null. If this is the case, we need to return and if not we can call city state for it. Just like this. Now let's give it a try and see what will happen. 
here it is now the error is gone and everything is working fine let's try to log in and test our application more and in here test too let's try it test to at gmail.com let me change it and see what will happen here it is very good so it is working very well and here is the join date is being displayed correctly let's try the google sign in and for sure I will get some errors so let's handle it in the next video